The Detroit Office of Customs and Border Patrol is reporting a massive increase in seizures of illegal drugs and guns and money for the year 2021. That includes a 2,800% increase in the seizure of illegal marijuana. Let's bring in Defender Sean Lay live tonight. And Sean, you spoke one-on-one -on -one with the director. And the director, Kimberly, tonight tells me even he is surprised by these seizures and seizure numbers. You mentioned the 2,800% increase. This is, these are things like 240 pounds of cocaine seized at our borders in the last year, $5.6 million in cash also seized, and 40,000 rounds of ammunition. Keep in mind, this is all during a pandemic. Yeah, I mean, the challenges during COVID, you know, have been, you know, tremendous for us. You know, not only first and foremost to keep, you know, our own workforce, you know, safe, you know, then to keep, you know, uh, you know COVID from spreading coming across the borders, uh, but then certainly, you know, to do our job with, you know, within that and keep dangerous goods and dangerous people out of the, out of the country. Dealing with COVID and crime at our international border. Another challenging year for Customs and Border Protection Agents. CBP Director Christopher Perry showing us what agents seized from people crossing into Detroit from Canada all of last year, including more than two pounds of deadly fentanyl, 25 pounds of meth, and more than 14,000 pounds of pot. It really what was surprising is that during a pandemic, uh, the amount of narcotics that we, we saw coming across the border that we, you know, we seized. Um, and, you know, if you look at before the pandemic occurred, you know, uh, you know, and, and now, I mean, the, just the quantity of narcotics is just exponentially, you know, uh, different. Why do people risk it and try to drive through the checkpoint with a vehicle packed with drugs? Because the demand on our side is higher than ever. You know, these narcotics, uh, you know, are, are, are used to fund, you know, uh, you know criminal enterprises, you know, also, so these criminal enterprises are, you know, importing, you know, whether it's narcotics, counterfeit products, uh, you know, they're, you know, funding their uh, illegal activities. Canines and technology help agents. Training and instinct kick in when agents decide to search a car. And those officers and specialists on the front lines, you know, they're the ones that, you know, make it happen every day. And I'm so grateful for, you know, their work. Our border is incredibly busy. We have highlighted, guys, the lack and shortage of ammunition here on this side of the river. So get this, a 600% increase in people trying to bring rounds of ammunition across the border, which is illegal. Those agents catching them uh, left and right, obviously, for 40,000 rounds, guys. Back to you. Incredible numbers. Okay, Sean, thanks.